Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. Today we'll be installing a heat receiver guys on our Toyota Sienna here. That's a family van. Okay, and that's our heat. So if we need to pull a little boat or something, we can always pull with it. Stay with us guys. This is the heat that we got. We have the links on our website as well. Uh, specifically this one is 40, 4500 pound heat. Uh, okay, you can see and 675 on the ball So that's pretty good rating the car is rated. I think this model specifically ours is a 3500 which is enough So we'll have the video about the wiring as well guys another video this one will be the heat receiver itself So the one that we got now, okay, what we'll need to do. Okay right here. We'll need to remove a, We'll need to remove a few a few screws now that hold that plastic cover in place okay and there is a few caps with a few with a flathead screwdriver there as well okay we'll see about those let's just go ahead and remove them oh get them loose and you can actually trim this one or remove it if you need According to the instruction, it gives you two options. You can remove that plastic later, or you trim it. But if you trim it, you have to cut it. Okay, and if those clips are spinning, you can just grab them with your fingers on the inside. And eventually, it will drop out of there. Okay, we're gaining a little bit more now. Let's just try one more time. Okay, it came out. Okay, I like that. And we need to do the rest, of the same thing to the rest of them. Okay, we have those clips now that we need to remove. Okay, everywhere there you can see. Once you pull the outside piece, the middle piece, will come out as well it's not very complicated installation other vehicles are usually more complicated this one is pretty simple design We'll need to unhook the exhaust at one place. We'll show you where. We'll have, we'll have a lot of videos, guys. Probably close to 200 videos on that generation to your Sienna from 2011 to uh, pretty much current generation right now, 2017. There is just minor differences here and there on a few things. Okay, we have this one here as well now. It's coming out. Okay. And we just have one more in the middle there. We'll go ahead and remove that one and show you what we did so far. okay this is it this is the plastic piece guys okay right here that we removed out of the vehicle so this is guys the exhaust now we have that okay rubber bushing there okay so we need to get it out with the screwdriver out of there we need to disconnect it that way uh, that way we can move it out of the way and this one will be very tight need to get a small screwdriver to get in and careful not to break it because if it's another one they do break sometimes just still holding a little bit on the back okay it started coming out now actually a little bit 
so i think we'll be able to do it without removing the exhaust we almost got it out but we actually want to try to see if we can do it without removing it because if you have a second person i think you're able to do that we'll remove the caps okay where the hitch the receiver will go drift them on each side you just unscrew those uh, this one is stuck a little bit if you have guys dirt sand stuff like that it's very possible that they're stuck and you need to spray some lubrication as well and we have three more like that on the other side that we'll go ahead and remove just the same way as this one okay you can see right there and i'll show you those are actually where the bolts will go okay you can see on this side one here two three and three on the other side as well okay this is the instructions right here guys and uh, it's going to tell you about how to load your vehicle and all that stuff okay more here customer information so you can read how to do all that stuff now we will need to uh, install a washer and a lock washer on each bolt all six bolts that we have right here and we'll be ready to install the hitch those in our case are with 19 millimeter socket and according to that manual we need to go 75 pound torque but of course check your manual that comes with the hitch because it might be different okay guys so we got the hitch in all we have to do grab on the exhaust pull it to this side okay so we can get the hitch in and install a bolt if you have one person holding the exhaust you don't even have to remove it okay and then we need one more after that so we have three bolts on this side three on the other one okay this one now and we need to just get them tight okay guys so we're using the torque wrench and we're using the specification that we have on our manual and when you hear the click it means that we have enough enough torque on the boat and it will be good okay a little bit more okay that's it right there and this one here now okay that's why we need to pull the exhaust a little bit to the side that's the only downside of not removing the exhaust but it's not very complicated to be honest with you okay and this one we already got tight on the on the phone and all we have to do do the same thing to the other side the same three bolts so there is no exhaust on this side it's it's pretty easy just make sure that you hold the range good not to hit yourself in the head okay that's it one is ready two more to go okay almost there on the second one okay and just getting the last one done guys and this is the hitch receiver that's what it looks like on the car so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and check out how we're going to install the wires as well in the next video see you guys next time